so guys to start my q and I'm gonna say this throughout this q and I'm gonna change places this question is so guys more like a, which one it's, it is. and yeah you, so you will be able to see me in a different places answering the different questions to first start this q and I'm gonna say the first question is how did you come up with the name Lev and I like that question because I didn't come up with any name that's my name real name Lev Lev that's my real name and yeah he, he thinks that I came up with a long name but uh, that contains three letters that is actually my name Lev and in Russian it means lion L lion Lev yeah that's why I kind of come up with Lev TV kind of sounds good you know and I get lots of questions on the Instagram uh, wh where do you prefer to stay in Russia or Ukraine uh, I gotta say this I gotta say this Ukraine has its own interesting places to stay in and visit Russia has different places to stay in and visit and sorry for the shaking of the camera it's just on top of the it's just on top of the garage yeah and yeah I decided to make it here next to the beautiful view yeah like on the roofs on the rooftops yeah I hope you enjoy it Yo guys, the next question is, and a different location as well, and the next question is the most famous and popular question I get asked, what software do you use to edit your videos? So I simply answered this question, I use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos, and that's a great software to edit, and I like iMovie as well, but it does the same job as Final Cut Pro X, and Final Cut Pro X has just a little bit more options and you can do a little bit more with Final Cut Pro X the last version I'm using and yeah you can do a little bit more with that so I use Final Cut Pro X latest version next question is Bruce asks if you either had if you if you had to pick either UAE Ukraine or Russia to live in for the rest of your life which one would you pick I would pick really that's such a hard question because there's lots of lots of more countries that will be uh, would be much more funner to live in I can say that and more interesting there's more like not interesting like US such a good country to live in, such an interesting car country to visit. There's different cultures, and you know, it's, it's, it's all about that thing. Which out of those three, I have to choose to live in, but I would have chose, think I'll choose UAE because uh, UAE is the country that now is one of the best countries in the world. The, the tallest building in the whole world, the biggest mall the biggest aquarium, the biggest candy shop, then the seven star hotel, which is the best in the whole entire world. It's seven star, nobody else has it. Everybody has five stars. This hotel right here is a seven star hotel. You can't just deal with it. Just deal with it, you can't beat it. And it's the best country, I guess. Dubai, Dubai is the best country. So yeah, Bruce, I would have chose UAE. And let's go to the next question. He asked, uh, Frank asked me, how many brothers and sisters do you have? <laughs> oh boy, I have a lot of brothers and sisters. And check out this dog. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Nobody feeds you, that's why you eat plants? Have you seen, have you ever seen a dog eating a plant? I'm first time seeing that. And. So, so overall my fa my family has brothers and sisters all together seven so yeah four brothers and three sisters yes 
Okay, let's go to the next question. What is he doing? What is he? But, but, guys Frank asks me again another question and here's his question in Ukraine uh, wait. in Ukraine do you guys speak Russian or do you speak another language so I gotta say everybody in Ukraine speaks Russian so yeah I answered that question and yeah not not a lot of people speak Ukrainian yeah they have a Ukrainian language in Ukraine it's yeah it's it's almost exactly as Russian but with a little bit of a change of the letters and yeah it's it's kind of like English and US US English they're similar but they have like different words and but the languages are similar so you can both understand them so that's why everybody in Ukraine speaks Russian so guys the next question is my friend my good friend asks uh, it's his, uh, I don't know, if, is it your nickname or what is it, your family name? It says uh, Corliss, Corliss. Yeah, uh, he has like a small logo with a palm and a sun. Yeah. Will you be going to college or you just stay with the professional football team? And I gotta answer this question shortly because I am going to college and I'm staying with a professional football team. Because there in Dubai they have different set of rules in a football football department and the football council but in Dubai the training starts at 4.30 and it ends at 6.30 so the rest of the day is free for us and they actually set the time perfectly so after the school we can go straight up to the training and yeah, we have some time to do our homework after the training finishes because it finishes at 6.30 and you kind of have time. And yeah, and you go almost every day, they have breaks. So we go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is a break, Thursday we go there, Friday and Saturday is a break. So yeah, we go almost every day, almost, except the two weekends and just Wednesday sometimes we go to the Wednesday Wednesday training sometimes there is no Wednesday training so it depends how the coach is set up so Ajit Yasin asks uh, what, what was your most embarrassing moment ever and I had like a lot of them but not that embarrassing like I mean they were kind of funny and hilarious and a little bit silly and the most embarrassing moment was or something the most embarrassing moment was I was sitting at home in the couch surrounded by my family my dad my mom my brother and you know I was scrolling down the Facebook and you know they have this like a creepy video creepy video where there's a Cristiano Ronaldo gives a, like a speech to the to the journalist and there's some freaking weird noise comes up when you just start watching the video there's instead of just a normal interview there's some freaking I don't know bad noises going on and you know what I mean you know what I mean just play that video and it goes ah, ah all over the whole room I'll get like shit, shit, shit. how do you move this and yeah that was pretty embarrassing everybody started looking at me like the hell but this is the end of the Q&A Thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this Q&A and actually I have one last question I've been recently asked by a lot of people and they're saying when you're gonna come back to Dubai and so many so many questions being asked because they think I came here for the rest no, for the rest of like the, the rest of my life but no, I just came here for for a holiday and then I'm going back to Dubai because I have a study uh, like a, just a holiday like a summer holiday and then I'm just gonna go, come back to Dubai during the, my summer holidays just seeing my family and you know different environment I mean you'll see the difference when I go back to Russia to Belgrade we're gonna go to lake we're gonna play some football yeah you can you can already see there's lots of green 
there's lots of trees and compared to Dubai Dubai is just basically one one picture it's either really nice and beautiful sky, uh, skyscrapers or either there's just a yellow or gold color sand over there and it also looks beautiful but the nature and the trees and everything it feels different from that environment that you live in because Dubai Dubai is a different place Dubai is it's just the sand and everything there is fake everything everything from the buildings swimming pools everything is that fake there's no rivers there's no lakes trees the natural trees that you get oxygen from like here if you go in the forest there's a different feeling there's a birds squeaking there's a, like a beautiful trees going up and then you just look up it's it's different different nature and yeah different places because dubai it's just recently built it's not it's not that old dubai is only like 43 years old and this this russia ukraine is has and some buildings in the middle of ukraine uh, in the middle of ukraine here they are more than 100 years old there's some buildings that are extremely old and i don't know exactly how old they are because they might be like more than 300 years old and they might like fall apart in any second before you can capture it on the camera and yeah that's that's the beauty of, that's the beauty of russia and ukraine so on that note on the positive note i gotta end this q a and yeah guys if you have any questions please post them in the comment section below and thanks for watching this q a and i will see you next time peace